In this quick tutorial, I'd like to show you Vignette. It allows you to add a customizable vignette to your footage. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but this effect also works in Motion and After Effects as well. In the Effects palette, I'll select FX Factory Pro and type Vignette in the search box. I'll drag it onto the first clip in my browser. A vignette simply darkens the edges of the frame. It's an old photographic technique used to accentuate something in the picture. In video, it is often used for subtle effect or more dramatically as a look. I'll change the shape on this first clip from oval to rectangle, as the car is rectangular in shape. And I'll fine tune this using the scale and aspect ratio sliders. I'll adjust the vignette so it fits on the car using the handle in the viewer. Softness controls the fall off of the vignette. Now that I like my placement, I'll back the darkening down so the effect is more subtle. I like how this looks, but the camera was handheld and it makes the vignette look like it was added on in post. I'd rather it look natural, like it occurred in camera. I'll use Final Cut Pro 10's handy stabilization feature to minimize the camera movement. My next shot has some people in it, so I'll use an oval-shaped vignette. I'll move it so their faces are in the center of the vignette. I'll increase the blurring slider, which adds a blur to the vignette, a nice added feature. Lastly, since the camera moves in this clip, but I like the movement, I'll keyframe the center parameter so it stays centered on the faces. The vignette plugin works so well, sometimes it's easy to forget that this didn't happen in camera. I'll toggle it on and off so you can really see the effect. Vignette is an excellent effect to put a polish on your color correction and finishing. A free trial is available. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.